So in this lecture, let's work on the styling of our application a little bit and let's create a nav component here. So this nav component, which we are going to create at the top is not going to be a functional component. And that's because it's not going to perform any kind of function. It is just going to go ahead and add an element over there at the top. So let's create that nav component, which acts as the title bar and the navigation for our application. So I'll go to VS code, create a new component. Let's name this particular component as nav.jsx. I would say export default function nav. Make this thing return a div. All right. So in this nav component, I just want to have the title as well as some emoji for our application. So let's say this app's name is food app. You could obviously name this thing anything as per your own choice as well. And I'll simply add an emoji here. So I would search for a burger. Let's add that emoji here. And now let's make use of this nav component inside the app.gsx. So over here, right before the search bar, I'll add the nav component and close it then and there. So as this nav component is not a functional component, we do not need to pass in any kind of props to it. So if I go back here, as you can see, this is what our nav looks like. So now let's go ahead and let's add some CSS styling to our application using CSS modules. Now, one of our dear students suggested me that we should use Tailwind for our application, which is Tailwind CSS. And it's actually a really good choice to use Tailwind for our project. But the main problem with using Tailwind is that if you use Tailwind inside your React components, all of your components are going to be flooded with multiple class names. Now that's all fine if you are designing some simple React application, uh, but as your application becomes complex, then it will actually mix a lot of CSS classes along with your React code and it will make your React code look super confusing. Now, obviously, if you're a seasoned developer, then that should not bother you much. But if you're learning React for the very first time, it's actually better if we kind of separate out CSS from the React code which we have. And that is the reason why we won't be using Tailwind for this project. But for the next project in this series, we'll definitely go ahead and use Tailwind once you kind of are fam more familiar with the React code. All right, so for now, let's stick with the CSS modules approach, which we have. And for styling up this nav bar, I'll go ahead and create a new module here, which is a CSS module, nav.module.css. And over here, let's import the stylings inside the nav component. So over here, I would say, import the styles from the CSS module, which is dot slash nav dot module dot CSS. And now I could go ahead and define some classes inside this nav module, which we have. So over here, first of all, I want to increase the font of the application, which we have. So let's define a class over here called as nav. And let's say that the font size is going to be two EMs. Let's define the font family as a real Helvetica sans serif. Let's set the font weight to bold because uh, this is going to be our heading. So I'll set it to bold. Let's set the color of this thing to something like hash 393E46. Let's set the padding on this one on all the sides to be 30 pixels. And let's also add some shadow to it as well. So we'll add the shadow later, but for now, let's use the styling on the nav. So over here, I would say, all right, style this div with a class name, which is styles.nav. As soon as I do that, if I go back here, this is what the heading looks like. So this looks better, but there's absolutely no separation between the nav bar and the rest of our application. So now in order to add that separation, let's add a shadow over here to the bottom for this particular nav. So in order to add a shadow, I again have to head back to the nav module. And over here, I would say the box shadow is going to be zero pixels, zero pixels, 10 pixels. And then RGBA value is going to be zero for each and every color. And then we are going to set the opacity or alpha value to 0.5. So this will add a faded shadow over here. 
And now, as you can see, the component kind of looks a little bit different. But there's one more problem you'll notice here. And that problem is this component is not stuck to the application which we have up over here. And that's because by default, whenever you create a React application, it sort of adds some sort of a margin here on all the sides. So if you want to remove this margin, you actually need to style your entire React application or basically you need to remove the margin from the entire body over here. So in order to remove the border or in order to style your entire single page which runs your React application, what you have to do is you actually have to go ahead and go to the app.jsx because that's your main component and you need to power up this app.jsx with a CSS file. So in order to do that, I have to create another CSS file in here so let's create a CSS file in the source folder and let's name that particular file as app.css, which is going to be the CSS for app.jsx. And over here, if I want to attach this app.css to app.jsx, I simply have to import that file. So I have to say import the file, which is dot slash app.css and that's it. So once we have imported that, let's now add a styling over here for the entire body. And I want to say that I want the margin on all the sides to be zero. So if I save this and if I go back here, as you can see, now the margin has been removed. So if you want to apply some stylings to the entire web page, you could do that inside this app.css file. So this is the significance of this app.css file that is whenever you have to style your entire web page. All right, so our navigation bar now looks ready. So in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's work on styling up this search bar which we have. So let's do that in the next one.